So let's do this. Let's just look at our session IDs. I have them here. So I have these session IDs here that we are going to use. All right. So what I want to do is to also copy these session IDs and paste them in a text file. All right. So if you're using Windows, you can use Notepad. If you're using Linux, you have your Gene edits, etc. So just make sure you have the session IDs saved in a text file. So I have mine here. Let me just show you. So this is my file here. So it's here. All right. So if you want to do a batch download, I mean, meaning that you are going to supply the tool with multiple session IDs, then that's what you have to do. Let's just look at it here. I'll just close this first. Let's get back here. So that's what you have to do. You have to first upload the data. I mean, when I say data, you have to upload the file. The file that has the accession IDs. Let me just repeat. In order to perform a batch download using the tool that we are using, you have to first make available the file which has the accession IDs that you want to use. So i.e. the text file in my case. So we have to upload. So let me just show you again. So this has my accession IDs. All right. So all I have to do is to just upload this file here that's what i'm going to do so let me get back here so on the galaxy platform here what you have to do is to come to this side upload data so click upload and then i'll just come here and then i'll just drag i'll just click and then drag it there and i'll just do it you can also click the choose local files and you can select the file that you want so this will allow you to locate the file. So you don't need to only drag. You can always click and then choose local files. So well. that's also possible. All right. So once you have the name of the file here, that means you are ready. So you can click on start. And then when, once it gets to 100%, you also check here and you see the file being shown for you. So once it's done like this, you can close this. And wait for the file to be uploaded for you so let's wait for that and then we can continue okay the file has been uploaded so you can click it just to check so you'll see your entries here all right so once you have the file uploaded then you have to come and select your tool again all right so if you don't have the tool just search for it you can use sra or you can just type faster download etc to get the list here and then you can click the tool again okay so after the tool has been opened for you then you have to specify the information you want so here it says sr accession but because we have our information the accession id is in a text file we have to change this so i'll click it and i'll select list of sr accession per line okay you can also use SRA archive in current history. That is if you have some available. But since we are using a text file, we have to select list of SRA session, one per line like this. So this is what you should select. So once you select this, if you already have the text file uploaded, then it should appear. All right. If it doesn't appear, you can just click to select it. Okay. And then that'll be it. So once you have it selected, that's it. You just come and then run it too so you can click here to run you can also click here so now i am running it so i have to wait for the data to be imported for me so let's wait for everything to get done for us okay the data has been imported so we have the output here the session ids i supplied were all paired and tested so we have the paired and tested collection we populated so here it says a list with three pairs you can click it and you find the list all right you can click on each of them and then you will see the four and reverse reads you can also download them if you want the single end data set collection is empty because the session ids we use do not have single end data sets so take note of that 